I think I was just kind of holding on for dear life. I had no expectations. And the draft day, I remember I was at Penn State just kind of refreshing Twitter. Didn't hear my name, didn't hear my name. I'm like, okay, what's going wrong here? And then I think DC had a pretty high pick and had gone up through the ranks of being from DC and, and playing for local clubs there. So I was like, okay, that'd be really cool to play for DC. And then, you know, they picked, I think, Tiffany McCarty, who is on my club team, grew up playing with her. and. I was like, okay, maybe next round. And then Seattle came up and I heard my name and I was like, okay, Seattle it is. I think I'd been to Seattle once with the youth national team and I liked it then and now coming back to it, it was just kind of coming full circle. But to start my professional career here, especially with the, the fans that have a reputation being the best in the world, to be able to play in front of them week in and week out for my first year and get a taste of that. I think is something that you know not a lot of people get to do in their first year as a professional. You know, to be able to call this my my job in my career is amazing. I mean, you know, we dream about being in the position or the seat I'm in right now since we were four years old. You gotta call it out. It is. I mean, Kim Little is arguably the best player ever. So to be named in a trade with her, you know, is, is a win for me. So Laura was really upfront with me after my rookie season saying, hey, we're really happy with you, but we're talking potentially with bringing Kim Little over and DC is what they want. They want you. She, she had uh, some emotion behind it and she was just, you know, I don't want to trade you, but I know you're going home to your family, friends. So made a little bit easier of a transition for her and for me and like I said from day one Laura's been very upfront with me and that's all you can really ask for from a coach is just saying what are your plans for me and vice versa so you know she walked me through what was going to happen and left on good terms throughout my three years at DC you know when we would come here or when we would get a good result on the road um, with any other team in the league Laura would always shoot me a text and say great job or good goal or something like that and we still had that relationship of her kind of checking in and out and when she gave me the initial call saying hey what are the chances of you coming to Seattle that relationship was already built and it was easy to build off of that and she makes this place, like this atmosphere here, so special and all the girls in the league want to come play for Seattle because of her and the atmosphere they've built here. As soon as she kind of open, half opened those doors for me to come back, I was, I was wanting to get right through and get right back here. This is my fifth year in the league, so it's kind of that balance, but you know, as soon as I got here, they're like, finally you're back. those two in midfield is just huge for me in my career. I think just their experience alone, you know, just with just hitting 100 caps for, for Wales is huge. And then Rumi being two World Cups is just, I mean, take your pick. I'm just still learning with them and still trying to be on the same page. I mean, what Jess, Rumi, you know, speaking English and then it's me trying to understand Jess with her Welsh accent is just sometimes a nightmare. You know, just all being on the same page and you're starting to see a little bit of consistency between us, but once we get on that all the same page, I think the, we could be the best in the league and I think that's the goal is, is to be number one in this league. And I think I can speak for all three of us is that we want to be the best and to be the best we have to continue to play together and continue to perform. There's no ceiling for us if, if we can get that all together. Thank you.